When it comes to weight loss or lifestyle changes to improve overall health, everyone always immediately talks about eating well and exercising regularly. But there's something else that's just as important, yet people rarely pay as much attention to. Sleep. What's even weirder is that it's suddenly become cool to brag about how long people have gone without some shut-eye. Well, guess what? You're actually just undermining all your efforts to stay healthy when you regularly go sleepless. Just what exactly are the effects of sleep deprivation? The short answer, you could die. And no, we're not just being dramatic here. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. On this episode, we are breaking down the 10 things that happen to your body when you don't spend enough time under the covers. Before we start, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more amazing videos. If you don't believe what we just said about sleep deprivation being fatal, try googling Zhang Xiaoshan, a man who learned about this little fact too late. This 26-year-old Chinese man was in good health. In 2012, he decided that he wanted to watch every game in the European Championship. Unfortunately for him, after having stayed up for 11 days straight on his soccer-watching marathon, he was found dead in his own home. While the occasional lack of sleep may not seem like that big of a deal, missing out on the recommended hours of sleep will have eventual and lingering effects to the body. Number 1. Weaker Immune System As any doctor would tell you, sleep and your immune system have a reciprocal relationship with each other. When you sleep, your body produces antibodies and cytokines, which are substances that protect you from bacteria and viruses. These cytokines, in turn, help your body have a better quality of sleep. So, in short, you sleep, you produce more cytokines. You produce cytokines, you get better sleep. And round and round the cycle goes. Disrupt this cycle, and your body will have a harder time fending off bacterial and viral illnesses. Number 2. Higher Risk of Cancer According to the researchers from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, Sleep deprivation is associated with increased risks of several types of cancers. This includes breast cancer, prostate cancer, and colorectal cancer. Adults who often work in the graveyard shift may take the brunt of this burden, and mortality rates are worse for those who clock in less than 7 hours of sleep. Number 3. Increased Risk of Chronic Conditions Long-term sleep deprivation leads to higher risks of different chronic conditions. According to the European Heart Journal, people who sleep less than 5 hours per night have significantly higher risks of having a heart attack and stroke. It also causes your body to release less insulin, which is responsible for reducing blood sugar levels. Without enough insulin to regulate your glucose, you run the risk of developing diabetes mellitus, your respiratory system also suffers more. It can leave your body vulnerable to different respiratory infections, develop obstructive sleep apnea, and worsen existing conditions such as chronic lung illness. Number 4. Worsened Brain Functions The longer you spend without any sleep, the more difficult it becomes for your brain to send and process information. Memory, reasoning, decision-making, problem-solving, reaction time, and alertness. All these are affected. This also means a delay in your brain's ability to send signals to your body, which brings us to Number 5. Becoming Accident Prone In a study by the National Sleep Foundation, sleeping less than 7 hours each night makes you three times more likely to be involved in a car accident. This is why shift workers business travelers, and other people who work long or odd hours are more vulnerable to accidents in the road. You may also end up experiencing micro-sleep, which is when you fall asleep for a few seconds without even realizing it. And I think it goes without explaining how this can be extremely dangerous. Number 6. Major Mental Issues 
apart from making you slower, less alert, and more forgetful, chronic insomnia negatively affects your emotional state and mental health. You become more prone to mood swings, and if you stay awake long enough, you could start hallucinating. It can also trigger mania in people with bipolar disorders and increase the risk of other psychological issues like anxiety, depression, impulsive behavior, paranoia, and suicidal tendencies. Number 7. Reduced Sex Drive Yep, your vigor and overall mood for sex will decline with each sleepless night. And it's not just because you're exhausted from the lack of sleep. Several studies from varying research groups all show that men who lose sleep experience a decrease in their testosterone levels by as much as 10 to 15 percent. Number 8. Weight Gain Sleep deprivation is another risk factor for obesity. A lack of sleep can affect two hormones, leptin and ghrelin. Your brain reduces leptin and increases the production of ghrelin, which stimulates your appetite. This is one explanation for why you may tend to overeat later in the night. A lack of sleep can also disrupt your digestive system, causing you to pack on pounds. Number 9. Stunted Growth As previously demonstrated, hormone production is heavily dependent on your sleep patterns. Growth hormones are no exception to this. This is especially true for children and adolescents who produce more growth hormones to build muscle mass and repair cells and tissues. Without adequate sleep, your pituitary gland would not release optimal levels of growth hormones, which could lead to stunted growth. Number 10. Worsen Skin Condition Okay, if none of these health risks can convince you to sleep more, at least do it for your looks. Studies show that poor sleepers end up having more wrinkles, fine lines, and an even skin tone. Their skin also becomes more loose and saggy, making them look older than they actually are. Naturally, those who slept less were more dissatisfied with the way they looked than their well-rested counterparts. Yikes! Learning about all this is making me want to go under the covers now. So, exactly how much sleep is enough sleep? According to the National Sleep Foundation, the number of hours you should clock in bed varies based on your age. As you grow older, your body's sleep requirements goes lower. So, a newborn sleeps for 14 to 17 hours, an infant for 12 to 15 hours, and so on. Adults from age 18 and up should log 7 to 9 hours every day under the sheets. But we get you. In this fast-paced world, it can be difficult to get adequate sleep, especially now that more and more people are working from home and work time often bleeds into what should be your time to relax. So what can you do to get your sleep schedule back on track? Here are a few tips. Limit daytime naps. Heck, avoid them altogether if you can. Little naps within the day can disrupt your sleep schedule, so best just save them all up for one continuous sleep at night. Sleep and wake up at the same time each night. This will train your body to recognize that you have a sleep pattern that it should follow, making it easier for you to fall asleep. Also, try to stick to your schedule, even during weekends and holidays. Refrain from caffeine a few hours before sleep. Caffeine can disrupt sleep, especially if taken up to 6 hours before bedtime. For safe measure, limit your coffee breaks to until noontime. Schedule an hour of relaxation before bedtime. You can use this time to do anything that will help your mind and body relax. It can be reading, taking a bath, stretching, or meditating. But avoid heavy exercises close to bedtime. Best do that in the morning or afternoon instead. Avoid heavy meals before bedtime. A heavy stomach can sometimes make you feel sleepy, but the downside is, when you're asleep, your body's functions also slow down, making it harder to digest foods you've consumed a few hours before going to bed. 
reduce alcohol intake. Yes, because it's sedative, alcohol can make you fall asleep quicker and more deeply, but it does not improve the quality of your sleep. This can also cause alcohol dependency, which would make it difficult for you to fall asleep unless you've gulped down enough alcohol to shut your body down. Get yourself checked. If you continue experiencing problems going to sleep, talk to your doctor. You may have a sleeping disorder or other underlying conditions getting in the way of a healthy sleeping pattern. Clearly, sleeping is more than just about getting some beauty rest. The amount of time you spend in bed could either save or cost you your life. So the next time you plan to pull an all-nighter, make sure to consider all the health risks that come with it. What about you? What's the longest you've gone without sleep and how did that affect your day? Tell us all about it in the comment section below. And if you liked this, make sure to check out our video on what would happen to the body if you don't take a shower. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest and make sure to hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.